everyone, this is Rachel, and today I am here to talk about my August TBR. Something I've realized since starting this YouTube channel, I'm not reading as much as I was hoping I would, but I'm still reading fairly consistently. I do work two jobs and I'm a full-time student at the, this time, and so what I've come to realize is my TBR list can be huge, except my time to read is actually pretty limited. And so I'm going to count it a win for me if I complete two to four books from my TBR every month, somewhere in that range, because that seems to be what I'm actually able to do right now. But I've also heard other booktubers talk about, in reality, it's only, you can only read that much as if you aren't doing other things in your daily life. And since I do have the two jobs and the schoolwork, I'm going to be more realistic about what I can accomplish. However, I still am going to make TBR list because they're fun and the whole idea of like maybe I could get those done would be awesome. So to begin with my August TBR, I'm doing the second half of the Magical Readathon. Now I only completed two books in April. It means that I'm not going for a career in August to finish up the test. So I just took those two prompts, which were Defense Against the Dark Arts and Transfiguration, and I just chose a book for each of the three prompts that were under there, those. The first category, Defense Against the Dark Arts. The first one is read a horror or thriller. Now I'm not a huge horror person or a thriller, but luckily I got a free book from J.F. Penn called Day of the Vikings. The picture should show up here. For the second prompt, book with demons or water theme. I am also doing another Kindle book, but this one also is on my phone, not just the computer. And I'm doing Catfish Lullaby by A.C. Wise. And then for the third prompt, read an epic fantasy. And I am doing Savage Legion by Matt Wallace. And I just want to say, I think this cover is gorgeous. Like the way that the black, red, and yellow just combine. Oh, so beautiful. And I'm sorry I don't go into what all these books are about. I don't look too far into them before I decide to read them. And for my Transfiguration three prompts, the first one is Animal on the Cover slash Title. And I am going with Away with the Wolves by Sarah Galley. The second one is a Book with Dragons or Fire. And I am going with Fire with Fire by Charles E. Gannon. And the third one is Read a Hardcover, or book you have always wanted to read. And I know typically you're supposed to start and finish the book during this month, but I'm cheating. And I'm going to go with Gods of Jade and Shadow, which I had started in June and I really want to finish. And it was a hard copy from, or it was a hard cover from the library. So I know when I get it again from the library, it's going to be a hardcover. So that is the first set of prompts. Then, just to make things ambitious, um, this month they are also doing Tome Topple Round 12, and so I've chosen some books for that, for those. And so for the Tome Topple, I've chosen five books for the nine prompts. I don't actually think I'm going to read all five, but, you know, here's hoping, like I said. Um, so the first book I chose is Factotum by D.M. Cormish, and I know I have tried to read this in the past. Um, it is the book that's been on my TBR for the longest. I also am counting it as a tome I started for another tome topple. I don't think I tried to do this for another tome topple. I can't remember if I did in May or not. I know I kind of read the first chapter and then put it down earlier. So I'm counting it for that prompt. The second one is Ship of Magic by Robin Hom. And I've already checked with my library, and this is an audiobook, so I'm using this for the audiobook prompt. And then... The next one I'm doing is Rage of Dragons by Evan Winter, and this is going for a book by a black author and a recently acquired. Since this is since this is a relatively newer book, that's why I'm using it for recently acquired. Um, then I'm doing The Last Light of the Sun by Guy Gabriel K for a standalone, and I figure it'll be one tome. So really, whatever tome my I get will go with that prompt, but right now I just have that as a stand-in for that. And then for my last tome, I have War and Peace by Leah Tolstoy, which is a tome from a genre I don't usually read, which is historical fiction. And it was the tome on my Goodreads list that had the most pages, at least as far as I went on my to-read list on Goodreads. That thing is huge, and so I only went through like a hundred books just to be like, okay, where are my tomes? So yeah, but yeah, so that is my ambitious plan. 
to read in the month of August. You all have a great day. Bye.